Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Soap the Great, and I am here on my single player world, but this is not a standard Jungle Island Adventures episode. This is a bonus episode, and it is not project related, this is going to be talky. I'm going to go take care of something that I need to get done, and on the way I'm going to talk to you about something that is... Uh, on my mind and is actually the result of the occasion today. Today is April the 2nd, at least as far as when this video is going out. Um, this is being recorded ahead of time, but in particular, um, I wanted to release something on April 2nd due to a call for action by a gentleman on Twitter by the name of Stuart Duncan. Now let me just get my bearings straight here, and I'll talk to you more about him. We are at X32, Z-49. We want to go to X544 and Z-1688. So we got a little ways ahead of us. Uh, we'll turn that off until we get a little closer, at least see land. So, Stuart Duncan is a gentleman that uh, I only know through Twitter. I've had a little bit of interaction with him, but I was introduced to him indirectly through Paul Swartz Jr. when Paul Swartz Jr. was invited to a multiplayer creative server called Autcraft. Stuart Duncan is the creator and maintainer of Autcraft. Um, and Autcraft is a server that is dedicated to providing a safe haven for people that have been diagnosed with autism spectrum disorder. All right. Um, and autism is is a spectrum disorder. It is not something that uh, provides the same type of uh, symptoms as as other things. Um, it is a spectrum from uh, hardly visible to extremely, extremely visible symptoms. And um, people are diagnosed with it. They fall anywhere on that spectrum. Okay, so uh, that's something to keep in mind. If you do encounter somebody that says they have autism, don't go around saying, well, you don't look like it, because that just, it doesn't make sense, and it's really rude, okay? Um, that's not my point today, necessarily. Um, today is Autism Awareness Day. That is April the 2nd. Stuart Duncan put out a call to fellow YouTube gamers to just make it make it aware, make uh, make things known to the general public to just donate their channel for a day and so that's what I'm doing right now okay and and I don't want to talk too much about autism spectrum disorder but I want to talk about society around autism spectrum disorder okay one of the um, one, the big things that he has been talking about lately is just the overall um, problem of bullying especially online um, and and that's what I want to just uh, make a little note of today we need to go a little less east-west and more north-south um, now he, he wants to talk about bullying because um, uh, what he's found is that a number of people that have been diagnosed with autism spectrum disorder go on these public minecraft or minecraft servers and they get bullied just through various things just uh, being made fun of or perhaps having their build griefed or you know various things but all in all it's bullying and it's simply because they happen to be different and that's what um, I, I want to donate my channel today to talk about bullying because somebody is different. Now let me tell you a little bit about myself. Um, I was on the younger side of my class in school. Uh, my birthday fell close to the cutoff date. So as a result, I was behind in terms of age and physical development. And as a result, I was often different. And pardon the lag here. We're generating new territory, so it's going to be a bit laggy. Maybe I'll just slow down the thing a little bit. Um, I was on the l slower end as far as physical development. Or rather, the uh, 
not necessarily slow, it's just I happen to be younger than everybody else. And so as a result, those that happen to be just past the cutoff date, and so they were, they were able to be held back and uh, go to school a little later, um, a number of them thought it would be fun to pick on me, simply because I was shorter, um, not necessarily as strong, um, just various things, and uh, and it wasn't fun. I will tell you that. It was not fun. Um, but I will tell you, it has made me part, it has, you know, been part of who I am today, and it's why I'm taking this time to, you know, donate donate my channel just for just for today um, well not just for today but in general bullying I don't like it um, now the there's a few things um, a few people I want to address here there's the person that is being bullied if you are being bullied because you are different um, let me just let me just tell you don't lose heart okay don't lose heart there better days do lie ahead uh, one of the things mr. Duncan had mentioned is that um, he has gotten a number of calls or rather uh, emails in regards to people that have just come to their end for um, for being bullied they um, for whatever reason they feel that it, life is not worth living um, as a result and and I would say life is worth living okay so if you are in that boat if you are to a point you've been bullied so much that you just don't know um, how to go on I I would encourage you find somebody talk to somebody okay get a better perspective on things because you know, you shouldn't listen to what the bullies are saying. They may be saying nasty things, but don't take their opinion, okay? Um, go talk to an adult. Go find, um, you know, maybe an administrator or something. Find find a teacher. Talk to your parents. Talk to some responsible adult in your community about what's going on. And um, you will find help, okay? Now, to those that are bullying... I'm just going to tell you right out, right now, not cool, okay? Stop. Just because somebody is different does not give you reason to make fun of them or to cause them physical harm or to ruin their stuff, okay? Just just stop, okay? And And here's the thing. It may be that you don't know that you're bullying, but if it seems as if someone's someone's feelings are hurt, when, after you've done something or said something to them, maybe ask them, talk to them, okay? Don't just go around assuming that uh, everyone's having fun, okay? Ask them, talk to people, okay? And if you're being bullied, maybe they don't know that that uh, you're taking it as bullying. Maybe, um, maybe they think it's all in good fun, but uh, do let them know, okay? Um, you, you may find that people are more reasonable as well. If they're not reasonable, again, talk to somebody that is reasonable, and uh, hopefully you'll find something, uh, some resolution there, okay? And I would say, don't grow weary. Don't lose heart, because life is longer than a couple of short years in, uh, in what may seem pretty tough, okay? I've now gotten past it. I've grown up. I'm now married, I have two kids, and uh, I got past it, okay? Um, it, it can get better, okay? So don't, don't let what other people are saying affect how you think of yourself, okay? Because life is too short for that. All right, so um, now I want to address those that may have observed bullying. You're not being bullied, you're not bullying, but you, you see it happening. Um, now I don't know the particular circumstances maybe you don't want to be bullied and so that's why you don't speak up maybe you recognize that it's wrong but you don't speak up and I would say speak up 
please speak up. There are too many people that take their lives every year as a result of people saying and doing nasty things to them, mean things, for you to not speak up. Okay? I'm not going to say that it's on your, your hands necessarily, but I am going to say that you can be a help rather than just standing by idly. Okay? So if you see someone being bullied, maybe they don't recognize it. Maybe uh, they don't have the wherewithal to recognize that the joking and the, the uh, pushing around is not all in fun, but it could possibly be, um, be bullying. Let somebody know, okay? Um, that way we can stop this problem, okay? So that is um, what I am donating my channel to for today. And you may hear me say this on, uh, on more than just this occasion. But in particular, I wanted to take time today on April 2nd to answer um, Mr. Duncan's request. I really don't like these guys, especially with the chicken jockeys. Goodbye. The reason I'm coming to the jungle here, by the way, just so, so you know what I'm doing, this is not random grindy work. This is necessary. I need watermelon. I don't need a jungle. I'm already in a jungle, but that was a jungle generated in 1.5, and this is 1.7. Okay, so a little Minecrafty stuff while we're at it. Um, you know, I should have plenty here. Let me get these last two, and then I'm going to head on back. So, so again, if you're being bullied, let someone know. Don't just suffer in silence. If you are bullying, please stop. For, for all that is good in this world, stop. Um, don't be the cause. Don't, don't be why somebody may choose to end their life, okay? Um, if, you, if you cease bullying and you haven't said anything, say something. Um, and just let the let the bullies know it is not okay. Um, don't pick on people just because they're different. That's that's one of the things that makes this world so great is that there are differences. Um, otherwise, it would just be boring. Okay. So keep in mind, variety is the spice of life, and uh, and you know we're just we're all in this together. Okay. So. Hopefully, this has been a help. Um, if it has, let me know. Find me on Twitter. I would love to hear from you. Um, I'm at MC Soap the Great, or leave a comment below. Um, you can use that avenue as well. Uh, or just get in contact with me or with somebody that, um, that you know and trust, and you know that cares for you. Let them know what's going on, and... Uh, and hopefully it will get better for you, okay? So that is it for now, and uh, I will talk to you all later. Thank you for taking the time. Bye-bye.